Let's speak Korean. 제 64회 결혼하게 되었어요. 안녕하세요. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Speak Korean. I'm your host Lisa Kelly and this is our 64th show. And I, I really like the title of this one. I'm hopefully going to be able to say this within the next 10 years. Um, 결혼하게 되었어요. Uh, I, I'm going to get married. I, wow, Lisa, I, uh, really? No. You're going to get married. <laughs> nice to hear. <laughs> 안녕하세요. I'm Stephen Revere and I, that's wonderful news, Lisa. Congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> congratulating me 10 years in advance. Uh, yeah, I oh, appreciate I'm, that. I'm a, little, I'm a little ahead of time. Okay. <laughs> okay, hello. How, How are you? How about you guys? Are you guys going to get married? No, not yet. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. No. <laughs> Still alone. 안녕하세요, Naomi. Today I look like, you know, the Korean traditional student. That's right. Yeah. In the <laughs> cute book. Okay, how are you? 안녕하세요. I'm fine, thank you. Dimnida. <laughs> okay. Well, today... And you guys uh, are too young to get married, so don't right. even think yeah. about it. Huh? Today, the, the topic is a little too uh, premature for you guys, but mm -hmm. you should definitely know what mm -hmm. it is. Uh, you might hear your friend saying it pretty soon. Speaking of which, um, what are you going to get married? <laughs> <laughs> Steve? Me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's I need I need a, a girlfriend first. No, then, actually, you, know. you need to select one out of the many that you have yeah. around you first. That's true. <laughs> Anyways, in Korea, arranged marriages are pretty popular. Uh, that's when the parents introduce you or your friends, actually, mm -hmm. these days, introduce two people to each other, and when they hit it off, they get married. What type of marriage are you considering? Yes, an arranged marriage or a traditional? When we, when we think of arranged <laughs> marriage in America, we mm -hmm. think, you know, from childhood, you know, they right. say, oh, you're, you're raised, you're going to marry him and her from <laughs> when you're like babies. That's not how it works in Korea. Usually the parents arrange a little meeting, mm -hmm. don't they? The, and then the people get together, they meet. It's called Son boda, son boda, yeah, son boden got, yes, it's called uh, having a son, looking at a son, anyway, and what that is, is you go on a little bit of a first date and it's very official, usually both the parents or a close relative already knows the, the family, both families know each you. other, yeah, I, I sometimes they'll go out with you too. I, sorry, I saw that many times in the drama, you know, yeah. they, they right doesn't lie, I, I think that they doesn't lie because the girl always cried, cries. And I don't want to go <laughs> there, you know. <laughs> right, we see lots of dramas yeah. on Arirang TV like that. Anyways, let's go and find out what we're going to be learning for today. Let's do it! 다음 달에 결혼하게 되었어요. 정말이에요? 잘 됐네요. 축하해요. Okay, our expression for today is 결혼하게 되었어요 or 결혼하게 됐어요. And that means I'm going to get married. But in front of this, we heard 다음 달에. Okay, so she's specifying which month or how long in uh, the future she will get married. So 다음 is next. And 달, do you remember what 달 means? Month. Month, okay. So next month I'm going to get married. Mm -hmm. 하게 되었어요 when means something, a decision has been made. Someone has come up with some sort of decision. decision. Usually it's a big one. You don't say bibimbap uh, you know, it's, it's not like you eat some food or something like that. It's a big decision. Quite often entering school, something like that, or getting a job. 제가 은행에서 일하게 되었어요. Something like that you could say. I got a job at a bank. 일, 은행에서 일하게 되었어요. Okay, let's repeat that, okay? 다음 달에 결혼하게 되었어요. 다음 달에 결혼하게 되었어요. 다음 달에 결혼하게 되었어요. Okay, and then let's repeat what Ste uh, Stephen's example. 다음 주, let's say next week. Mm -hmm. 다음 주에 은행에서 일하게 되었어요. 다음 주에 은행에서 일하게 되었어요. Okay, can... 다음 주에 은행에 일하게 되었어요. 은행. 은행에. 은행. 은행에. 은행. 은행에서. All right, can you think of a good example for us? Mm. 다음 주부터 mm -hmm. 학원을 다니게 되었어요. Mm, good. Good. Wow, congratulations! You have to pass the test first. Yeah. You still have a test yet. Now, I didn't go I'm sure you will get to study there, yes. And, and notice uh, she said, 
어디를 다니게 됐어요, right? You can use 으 or 를 as the objective marker as well, right? I, I started attending a hagwon. Here in Korea, we use hagwon all the time, almost as if it's an English word, kind of Congress right. thing. We've adopted the word. That means a language institute or an institute of some, some sort where you do some studying. Hagwon is... Right? I ended up, I ended up is another way to tr translate it. I ended up uh, attending a hagwon. I'm going to be attending a hagwon. Mm. And the response was really, okay, this is used very often. Mm. 정말이에요. 정말 means really. And then if you ask, if you uh, do the rising intonation, then you can say 정말이에요. Is that so? Is that for real? 정말이에요. 정말이에요. No, not really. <laughs> All right, but uh, and then they also went on to say, "Oh, that's good. That's well. Things have turned out well." They said, "잘 됐네요," and then they said, "축하해" or "축하해," which means congratulations. And the cool thing on "잘 됐네요," okay, "잘" means well. It's kind of a good thing. Something's mm -hmm. doing going well. "잘 됐네요." It turned out well. And "neo" is a really great. Ending. It's a great ending phrase. It shows surprise. surprise. We, it's kind of like putting an exclamation point on all of your sayings when you say "nail." The thing you will hear if you're studying Korean at all, and you come over to Korea and you start using it, the wonderful thing is Koreans will always say to you, "Oh, 한국말 잘하시네요." You hear this all the time, don't you? No. Even if you just say. <laughs> Annyeonghaseyo to somebody. They will be surprised that you're working hard at Korean. Okay, I'll give you a situation. Why don't you do that dialogue? Naomi is going to go to Italy next week. Mm. Oh, okay. Got plans to go to Italy. <laughs> Not yet. Anyway. Um, 다음 달에 다음 주 uh, 다음 주에 이, 이탈리아에 가게 되었어요. 아, 정말이에요? 네. 잘 되네요. 잘 <laughs> 잘 잘잘 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 미국으로 가게 되었어요. 다시 한국에 안 오는데. All right. Very, very good expressions today. They're very useful. All right, let's try a couple more times, okay? How about um, I'm going to start learning Taekwondo. Oh. Mm. Mm. 태권도를 배우게 됐어요. Very good. 태권도를 배우게 됐어요. <웃음> 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 <laughs> and um, for Steve, how about teaching mm -hmm. Korean? The verb teaching, uh -huh. yes. 가르치게 됐어요. 아, 제가 한국어를 yeah. 가르치게 됐어요. That's right. I got, I get to teach. 영어도 가르치게 됐어요. Right, lots of foreigners come to Korea and they teach English. So mm -hmm. why don't you try that sentence? I got, uh, I'm teaching English. Mm -hmm. mm. 영어를 가르치게 됐어요. 영어를 가르치게 되었어요. Great. Mm, Let's go over our expressions one last time. Okay, next month I'm going to get married, okay? 다음 달에 결혼하게 됐어요. 다음 달에 결혼하게 됐어요. 다음 달에 결혼하게 됐어요. Okay, and the response is 정말이에요? 잘 됐네요. 축하해요. 정말이에요? 잘 됐네요. 축하해요. 정말이에요? 잘 됐네요. 축하해요. Mm. Uh, mm, Steve said he's going to be buying us drinks and dinner tonight. Mm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Darn! Uh. All right, thank you for joining us here at Let's Speak Korean, and we'll see you back here next time after I get married. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye -bye. Oh. <laughs>